Hello YouTube, hello fellow crafters, uh, this is Landvator, back on the crafting table, and today I've got a little showcase for you. Uh, my castle set, as you can see it right there, is about 90% finished, so um, I thought I might give you a little look at the, the set. I've been inspired by uh, Jeremy from Black Magic Craft, so um, he's done a video a while back, I think, uh, about uh, towers and uh, castle um, battlements. So you'll see the link in the description below. If you're interested in building such a set, uh, might as well get inspired by several crafters. So yeah, but I want to do something a little more modular than what he did. So I'll show you how I did that. Uh, first off, uh, you've got this, the hoardings. So I've got um, I've done a tutorial on how to make these. So if you're interested, you've got the link appearing right there. So uh, if you're interested, just you know, click it like mean it. First off, you've got those, these little doors. I used uh, cardboard, uh, different thicknesses of cardboard, and then uh, little rivets to make the, um, the nails and the door. It's, uh, it comes in two pieces, so you can open it. So if you've got these, uh, these walls that are uh, modular, you can stack them to get higher walls. So I'm gonna try to get this one. Oops, there you go. So you can stack them upwards to get higher walls, you know, for fortifications, for battlements. But of course you can also have them uh, uh, laying flat if you want to do a house. Uh, one of my projects is to uh, to make uh, houses, you know, medieval houses. Uh, often the, um, the different uh, floors, you know, they've got a lot of difference there, so you can stack them this way. You can even use the... Oops the roof of the other to make its roof there. So what lacks there is a uh, front, you know, doors and uh, windows and such. I'm going to do these in another, uh, another crafting bit, you know, another uh, tutorial. They're going to be fairly easy to do, to be fair, uh, but I'll show you in, in another episode. Uh, this craft was really uh, time consuming, so I didn't really have time to, uh, um, to do some tutorials at the same time. But this set being almost done, I'll have a lot more time to do some tutorials, so if you're interested, if you see something in the showcase that really um, gets your attention, um, do not hesitate to leave uh, comments and tell me you like it and to ask me how I did it. Uh, so there, you could also do uh, houses with this. But of course, uh, the pièce de résistance is uh, the tower right there, so I'm going to explain you uh, how I did it and how you can do it by yourself. I'm basically going to show you. Huh? It's not really going to be a tutorial step by step, by step um, exactly. But if you're interested in one of these pieces and really want to 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 know how you do it, uh, I I could do a tutorial. Then again, ask me. So I'm gonna remove the rest. Okay. So for the tower, um, I was influenced by um, Jeremy at uh, Black Magic Craft, and um, but I wanted something very modular. I wanted uh, the players uh, in game to be able to uh, to explore the different levels, the different floors of a tower. So basically, what I did is I took this kind of cardboard. Um, uh, I don't know how to call this. Uh, basically, what we've done is uh, we've ordered some art prints, and they came in uh, in that kind of uh, stuff. Uh, sometimes there are. Um, like uh, cylinders. This one was uh, squarely, squarely based, and it was great for me because I want to do a early medieval uh, tower, and these are often uh, squarely shaped. So, um, so this is thin cardboard, but it's really, um, uh, really uh, sturdy. So it was great. I only, the only thing I did is I cut them, measuring and cut them, and um, and then on it. I glue some um, some foam, okay, and that I engraved engraved manually. So it took a lot of time. But I think uh, Jeremy from Black Magic Craft did um, a test of um, one of those rolling stuff that is used for green stuff, and he tested those on foam, and it worked. So uh, you can use that if you want to spare some time. I didn't know these exist when I started um, carving these up, so I basically finished carving these up. They look great but uh, it took a fair amount of time. So yeah, uh, what I suggest, you're gonna see the inside because I'm gonna open the tower, and what I suggest, you need a really a sturdy, um, a very sturdy uh, base, 
on which you can uh, glue uh, the foam. So for the foam, I used that kind of foam, just slightly thicker. Uh, it's just regular foam board. Uh, this one is pretty thin. I used one that was like five millimeters thick, something like that. Uh, but yeah, what you need is something quite sturdy and you're gonna see why. Okay, first off, yeah, you can leave these these parts are separate, so there you go. I'm gonna show you the top. Um, if you've seen my uh, other tutorial about hoarding, um, you'll see how to make these. Uh, the shape is different, but essentially it's the same stuff. One thing though, uh, when I did the, um, the roofs of the hoardings, I used, I did manually. You'll see in my, uh, you'll see it in the um, tutorial. Don't do it manually. What you need is this kind of stuff. Uh, yep. So it's uh, just scissors, except you've got uh, those, uh, you know, I don't know how to say this. I'm sorry, I'm not completely fluent, so I'm actually not English. So, uh, so it, it allows you to, um, to cut uh, the cardboard and get it in shape to make some, um, some roofs pretty easily. So it's a lot faster. So I'm going to show you the inside right there. You can lift this and this. Ah, there we go. So you've got the top of the tower. Um, these are removable too. There are LED uh, sort of uh, torches. So I'll show you a little closer. There you go. There are lids uh, and they flicker. I used uh, LED, uh, LED tea light. Uh, and also, I use some magnets. You can see them, but there's actually a magnet under there, and a magnet also there. So it basically sticks. You can take it off, but it's rather you know stands in in place. And you can reuse them to do something else. If I take two of them right there, like that I can put them like this. You can do a sort of you know you could do. There you go something like this like a huge pillar you can really use them uh, in uh, also the you know in a room you could put them there on each side I'm not using that for the tower but you see you can use it in the corners of a room so I'll make a vi uh, another vid a tutorial to show you how to make these if you're interested I've got I uh, have to do uh, I've done several uh, several builds using uh, tea lights LED tea lights I think they're pretty funny and um, I saw some uh, some videos uh, made by um, uh, DM Scotty with LED so uh, I basically uh, experimented and made many pieces using uh, these kind of uh, uh, LED tea lights uh, so uh, there you go first thing you've got a little trap there trap door I've done several of them too you can remove it oops so there you go. So for this kind of build, I haven't done a tutorial for say, but uh, you can, if you're interested, tell me. I don't think I'm gonna build another one. It really takes time. Uh, but if you've seen the other tutorial about the um, the hoardings, you you will know how to to build those. So there you can see um, what I've done uh, using the the thick and sturdy cardboard I reused. You can see the system there. This is just regular cardboard, and for the for the wooden plankings there, I used uh, stirs, you know, coffee stirs. They're actually thinner than uh, ice cream popsicles. So they're uh, easier to cut and uh, way more up to scale to make some uh, wooden floors. So I used that. And as I said, underneath, you can see um, why I used uh, the thick cardboard, the tube. Because it's going to be able to let me take another piece, go inside this way see there you go and it's going to be the same with each piece and each piece is going to be able to be set on top of the other and stand you know quite so so i'm going to show you the inside basically well all the different floors are like oops made this way so i'm still going to put some highlights there because it's a bit dark but i've done some floors uh, with uh uh, the stirrups to do uh, stairs to do the um, the wooden floors. There you go. It's not finished. Huh? Bait isn't finished. It's a little dark right now. And also I've done some floors with uh, 
with a foam, engraved foam or stone. There you go. This one's a bit stuck. Yeah, <laughs> I've done a big one because um, I want to, the tower to be uh, to be big. The idea was really to make a tower that would look in, rather impressive from the outside, but also could be playable from the inside. Because you've got you've got space actually. See, you've got place there, so you can actually build your tower before the session and put some stuff inside. And then you'll just reveal the different areas when the players will take stairs and uh, climb up uh, the tower, etc. You can always uh, remove the thing and they'll discover what's inside. So that is pretty interesting. Uh, so you've got this big piece right there. And also at the bottom, you've got this piece. So you've got the um, base floor. You know, it can be used as a. Um, um, what's going on? Uh, basement. Yeah. So another thing uh, you might have noticed, I've only left some very uh, little walls, and that's for a reason. Uh, that's inspired from another great crafter, another great YouTuber uh, called Wylock from Wylock Armory. And what he's done is, um, it's another quite old video, uh, he's had a system of um, clip-on for walls. The idea being that uh, you want to play in these, so if you've got high walls, always gets, you know, you're stuck by the wall. So I want something like that, uh, very easy to access, but being able also to put some add-ons. And I've got many, many add-ons. So let's me sh let me show you some examples. This kind of add-on, uh, it's just a regular wall. So the back is very sturdy uh, cardboard. Uh, inside you've got just regular corrugated cardboard, but you've got also, you can see, you've got washers. They're both for the weights, so uh, let me show you. They're both for uh, the weights of the piece, but also they can be used to use magnets. For example, this, this is gonna be a tapestry holder. I used uh, two toothsticks and uh, be some beads painted uh, gold, and with a little, there you go, a small uh, magnet. And if I put it right there, see? It works just fine. And also, I've done these little tapestries. They can be add-ons. You can add them there. So there you go. Just gonna take one, the first one I find. There you go. So these are just images I found on the internet, and I've just printed them on a thick, uh, thick piece of paper. You know, drawing paper with these little parts that are just paper, plain paper, but you know. Um, I use some glue for it to stick in one position and what you can do is ta -da, have a tapestry isn't it wonderful it's decorative and also can be used in gunplay for uh, hiding uh, hidden doors or uh, it can hide a, a secret passage or also the players could use it uh, to hide you know to uh, to hide uh, behind the tapestry and stay unnoticed so I really like the idea. I've done many, many of them. I've got a whole, uh, whole set of them right there. These are inspired um, both by uh, both by um, Wylock Adams because he's done some of them, some of these with the uh, uh, with the torches, and also the M. Scotty uh, use of tea lights. What Wylock did was uh, these kind of, um, of pieces, but without the LED. So I combined the two techniques and made a LED. Uh... Of course, you can find these kind of stuff at. Um, uh, you can buy uh, some some pieces. I think Dwarf and Forge does those. I just like to do my stuff uh, myself. So there you go, little flickering um, torch. It's not really a torch per se, because uh, I've done some researches. And uh, during the Middle Ages in Castle, they used uh, more often um, oil lamps than really torches. I mean, torches were used, but mostly they used uh, some oil lamps. So if you can see it closer, there you go. It's just a metal kind of um, small recipient fixed to the wall, and it's uh, it's got a burning flame. There you go. Really like it. So you can see backwards. I used really used the LED tea light. And put it uh, inside, and you can switch it on and off. And of course, you've got the battery right there if you want to change it. So there you go. So I've done many. Um, I've done many other pieces. 
Uh, I'm not going to show everything. What I'm going to do is uh, do some some shots, some pictures, so you sh show you some stuff I've done. And uh, um, if you find something interesting, something you like, and you're really curious on how to do it, do not hesitate to tell me. Uh, I'll be doing some actual tutorials, and uh, just tell me what you think. Bye.